Adventures. Welcome to another episode. We are out here on a local lake, Metro Lake, and uh, we are nighttime fishing for some crappies. It took us a little bit to find the school, but we finally found them and they're coming in uh, pretty hot. So I'm here with uh, Get Two Tackles. So stay tuned and uh, we're going to show you how we're catching these crappies and what we're using and go from there. So, all right, guys, make sure you guys comment, share, subscribe, and let's get to the video. There he goes. They're not like huge, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got two on me now. Who's he gonna be? There he goes. Oh, this one feels a little nicer. Feels a little nicer. Ooh, oh, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> Finally. Something something decent. Wow, that's at least yeah, closer to 11 now. That's how it should be all the time. <laughs> oh, we got more marks down there. Oh, nice. Oh, that one. That one seems decent. Oh, there he goes. If they can all be like that. It's got to go. Oh, that was an up bite. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's another decent one. Oh, another decent one. Nice. Alright guys, I just want to show you what we're using. I'm just using a basic noodle rod. You want something that has good backbone and then a very sensitive tip like this. So you can actually see the up bites. So as you can see, right now my jig is just hanging down low. This is what you want to see right here. You want to see when, they, when the crappie bites. Let me try to get the steel first. Now crappie bites, you can see it kind of lift up. So that's kind of an up bite. That means the, the crappies are coming up from underneath and they're they're taking your lure. And that's taking off the weight off the off the line. So your your tip will actually kind of go up a little. And that's what we're using. And we're using these uh get to tackle jigs right here. Real nice UV color with the glow in the dark uh, tungsten bead head. This one's got squirrel tail on it. And basically we're just dropping it down. Right now there's a big school down there. We're just dropping it down. We're just slightly jigging. Here, let me get my lower in the water so I can show you easier. Okay, so I have some friction from the water. So basically you just want to slightly jig like this. On the life scope you can see the crappies. You want to drop it just right above them or right right about eye level you don't want to go past them because uh, that can actually scare them sometimes but then you just want to slowly jig and give it a little quick pause and then jig again and then pause and then if you see something if you see a crappie that's actually interested you can slowly lift up and then pause again and jig or whatever those are just uh, really simple techniques to get them to strike so and right now they're really active and some some of these crappies are just hammering the lure as, as it goes down. So, <clears throat> but again, yeah, just want to get a good rod with a good backbone and a sensitive tip. And uh, I got this outfitted with a PC Fun ICX Precision. So, <clears throat> but yeah, guys, let's go catch some more fish. Nice. <laughs> <Got him. laughs> Come on, 
14 incher. It's not a bad one either. <laughs> Actually, it was big. It goes out pretty far out. Oh, nice. And then it goes right down. And flip, over, flip over? Yeah, flip over really? too? Really? Okay. It's three man. Oh, nice. That guy, I saw him. See how big it is. Oh, it's not bad either. <laughs> it's falling all the way up there. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's like five feet that I fall up. Wow. One or two. Oh, there it goes. Come on. Oh, there it goes. Nice. <laughs> Get your glow one. I think these be a killer for uh, tulipies. Oh, nice! <laughs> I like when they bite like that. Oh, not a bad one either. Oh, here comes. Oh, 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 that was a nice oh, one. Man. Oh my gosh! I think that was the biggest one for the yeah. day too. I think that was pushing at least closer to twelve. Mm -hmm. 